Here's another question here. Uh, Andrew Jameson says, hey, Robbie, is there a real advantage to running two or more NVIDIA, card, in, NVIDIA cards in SLI if you have a fair, fairly powerful machine and graphics card? So that's the first question. Is, is there an advantage to running two or more NVIDIA cards in SLI? Can you run more than two? Is it three? Yeah. It's ATI that confuses me because I think it's four. Um, the NVIDIA card, yeah. I mean, you're going to get killer performance if you go SLI. That's having multiple cards, right? Um, but it depends on whether you're hardcore gaming or 3D rendering. Because that's really, you know, your, your main purpose for doing that is to have 3D acceleration and extreme 3D performance. And most systems are going to perform just fine using just one card. So that's, you know, but if you're finding that you're not getting the frame rate that you want on your, on your 3D games, which is potentially an issue if you've got a huge monitor that's rendering at, you know, 1680 by 1024 or higher, then, you know, if you're getting low frame rates, then two cards would help that. Uh, also related to that, do you see a benefit in more than one monitor on one machine? I was looking at this one. Pardon me. It had three NVIDIA cards in SLI and supports up to six monitors. So is there an advantage to having more than one monitor? Six monitors, that is just the matrix. The only place you'd ever need one is in the matrix. Um, I used to do multi-monitors all the time. My desk, it, you know, you look back at the old shows, I had monitors all around me. I used to have the webcam behind me, and I'd sometimes switch, and you'd see the monitors. And I had, I had two 22-inch monitors, a couple of 17s, a 19, and that's the way I worked. And I had them so that I'd drag the mouse over to the next one and things like that. But then I started using Compass Fusion like crazy and the multiple desktops instead of the multiple monitors. And I realized, wow, I don't need to use up that much desk space. I don't have to have so much money invested in these great big monitors. So it really depends on what you want to use it for. There are scenarios where it's based on the scenario. It's advantageous for you to have more than one monitor. I'll give you one of those. Uh, obviously, right now, I'm using two monitors. One of them is Windows XP running the stream. One of them is Ubuntu, which I use to actually demonstrate the system. So there's obviously a reason for that. Um, no virtualization happening here. Uh, at work, uh, my main operating system is Ubuntu Linux, and I virtualize under Ubuntu Linux any of the operating systems that I need. So my left monitor, so in this case I need two monitors because I always have Windows 7 actually right now. Windows 7 is always up on the screen. So rather than having, because, because I have to see it, because it's mission critical, because there's things on the screen that I always have to see during the day, if I had it on a cube face, for example, then I would only ever see that screen when I'm looking at that side of the cube face or when I'm looking at that virtual desktop. So in this case, swinging that around wouldn't work for me because then I wouldn't be able to see what was on the screen if something came up. So at this, in this scenario, I've got Windows 7 running on the second monitor in a virtual box, and then I've got Ubuntu Linux running on the first monitor. So in that case, it works well for me. But in a case where it's just about productivity, when, when I was working from home, for example, uh, I ended up shutting down the, other, the extra monitors and switching to one monitor at one point, because with the ability to have, usually I go with six virtual desktops. So the ability to switch to six virtual desktops, you've got six uh, work spaces on your screen. So in that case, I found that I can work with only one monitor. It saves me a lot of desk space, probably saves a little bit of hydro, and, uh, and it saves me some money because I don't have to have all the money invested in these monitors. So it really depends on your scenario, Andrew. 